good morning everybody and thank you uh, uh, for inviting me in this forum uh, i would uh, like to start with where mr jain left uh, but before that we need to understand that why we are talking about renewable and solar per se very uh, you know prominently emphatically nowadays it started in 2010 we are at 2017 <coughs> sorry so during the journey we have learned how to deal with solar power the problem in dealing with solar power when it started and when it started with wind or other renewable sources it was a boon for uh, for the areas where the, the electricity was not there so everybody was so uh, you know overwhelming so welcoming about uh, the renewable coming in though it was very costly at that time but uh, the availability of renewable power being a customized solution particularly solar was overwhelmed and welcomed now when the quantum started happening quantum started adding into the grid people have started thinking about how to deal with solar power right so so that is when everybody woke up and said like look we have a plan for solar power but we also need to have a plan to deal with solar power so therefore you know learning of these 6 7 years would come into the play that but the only caveat is there are certain stakeholders in the whole value chain who have learned to deal with solar power but they are they are still being they are still being uh, you know uh, uh, influenced by the way thermal power plants are being treated for example i have also told this in one of the earlier forum when one of your regulatory order says that solar has to develop uh, demonstrate maximum continuous rating for 72 hours that means some people have not learned it and those people are into a decision making or a, an order making uh, you know position so therefore the only caveat is that we have not been able to transform or we have not been able to educate everybody and it is a it is a responsibility of a solar power developer and each and every stakeholder in the solar domain or a renewable domain for that matter to go and educate people that look the product is so totally different than uh, the product which we have been dealing since ages so that is one thing which we need to do very actively because we are not transforming from intermittent power to to a very I mean, uh, uh, to a uh, ESS integrated or battery integrated solar power because the power is intermittent in nature. If this education does not happen, if this knowledge transformation does not take place, then the moving then moving in the next phase would be very difficult. Now, that is one thing which I thought I will share with the forum. Second thing, which I thought that you know, when we were talking about solar or other renewable sources for that matter. largely all economy in the world including india were based on carbon based economy so we were for energy requirement we were dependent upon petroleum we were dependent on upon coal they are the main energy sources for all human being rest everything for all requirement of the human being was only a transformation of this energy to another form of energy but this was mainly a carbon based economy now these are not infinite sources these are finite finite sources so it does not be there for for the ages in future this will this will get depleted so if at all there's a time to deal with alternative sources this is the time and there is a time to experiment also because if it if you miss this bus this time then we will not have a time to experiment an alternative energy so the alternative energies will be in the form of sun wind and hydro they are the only infinite sources otherwise there is no finite sources available the whole world's politics moves around petroleum and coal so if at all we need to deal if at all we need to think you will have to think of alternative sources right now this is the place we have not yet we are not yet there so we need to move from a carbon based economy to non carbon based economy and whatever we do in in our whole in for all our energy needs is totally dependent on a carbon based economy second when we are thinking of using technologies in an affordable way this is the time we need to move from 
a technology who is who is based on zero marginal cost solar for say per se is technically a zero marginal cost because whatever tariff is loaded is based on the capex up front, the capex promised up front right there's no variable charges or variable charges are very less for that matter only about 10 to 15 percent on module cleaning as such and module clean technologies are also evolving so therefore it is only a capex which then gets loaded in the tariff for 25 years on the cash flows basis right so so the advantage solar gives is it does not have any marginal cost whereas other conventional sources i'm not against i'm i'm from a conventional uh, 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 sector i'm not against it but only only thing which i'm pointing out is we are moving from a marginal cost to a zero marginal cost and hence this renewable and solar per se is a right choice at this particular moment tomorrow it may happen that tomorrow some other technology will come and replace solar but at least now and for for near future it is solar and other renewable sources based on these energy infinite energy sources which for which we'll have to work upon which we will have to be, which we'll have to deal with now having said so everybody knows in this forum or in this house that intermittency with renewable is a factor which everybody is worried about today as we are talking about 60 gigawatt of grid connected large solar power plant and 40 gigawatt of rooftop 40 gigawatt of rooftop will come mainly from a commercial angle i mean commercial in a sense that if my electricity cost from the grid is higher than the cost of electricity on the solar rooftop then i would switch to solar rooftop uh, of course the other the intermittency and uh, batteries and all will take place but then this is a whereas a ground mounted large solar power plants are based on the push factor this is a pull factor wherein you require electricity so you are searching for alternate source of energy electricity large scale ground mounted solar is a push right now from the government in terms of rpo but is it going to the same in near future i my personal view is it is not going to the same today everything is all right Every, there's a push from the government the policies are right the environment is perfectly fine the raw materials are being sourced from different countries including china at a very competitive rate everything is all right but i do not see this is going to happen this is going to last for another couple uh, more years as we have seen uh, mr jain was talking about bis bis guidelines are i'm sorry to say but a non tariff barrier so therefore what we are talking about is indigenous technology based solar pv being procured from you know local which is a good thing but then when we're talking about this we also need to think about that if the technology is not affordable it is only r and d it is not a technology so when you are when you have to when your ultimate product is your electricity if you cannot sell your electricity at an affordable price to our end consumer then whatever you do is only a push and push does not long, last for very long it only lasts for a, as far as the push is there right and for every push there's a cost and government is not ready to pay a cost only for push it has to sustain on its own so that is second thing which i thought that i'll bring to this forum i'm not against uh, if the india has to rely upon make in india and technologies uh, developed indigenously and india is doing very well we have to reach there so till when till the time we have reached there we need to be very cautious on what we are doing second is gst i do not know i do not have an answer today because there is so much of confusion about the gst rates i do not understand that every other technology which is producing electricity are kept in one bracket and solar being singled out at least for some of the items which is and i'm sure government is also working on that thinking that and going to go going to give clarification but why there is a need of clarification if 
you have to treat everything in the same at the same uh, level playing field so that means there is something which is happening which we are not able to understand we need to be very careful about it in the future so a non tariff barrier in terms of bis a gst which is i do not know i uh, it, the government has to clarify on in a near future but then having said so ess is going to play a very major role in times to come because you do not have any other you're not going to have any other alternative source of energy other than solar and wind so battery has to be integrated to make sure that the grids are safe it is it is run on the basis on the principles on which it was designed and and i'm sure government is also working towards it but then when i'm talking about the ess or the batteries the batteries are not only a localized batteries integrated with the solar power plant the batteries roles would more towards for example if you have india is a huge nation right so a load in the eastern part is based on a sun movement so load on the eastern part and the load in the western part the peak load will have at least half an hour lag so there will be a change of the power number when there will be a change of power number you need to manage those power numbers when you are integrating grid from eastern region to western region so therefore the batteries will have to play a role in managing those power numbers at the regional periphery whatever is going to happen with the solar pv power plant the generating station is only a localized solution localized solution will take place it it has to take place but then as a for a larger interest the ess and the batteries has to be used at the regional periphery to manage the load numbers or to manage the power numbers third the use of ess generally when you are saying the ess is only used as a power backup whereas the application of ess is not a power backup it is an energy backup so we one need to be very careful about if you are using the power backup it cannot today as for sure it cannot sustain as, on a commercial basis so when you are using a technology be very careful on what purpose and what application you are using the technology for if you are using a 100 megawatt solar pv power plant and using a backup of 100 megawatt ess it does not make a technological sense it does not make a commercial sense it can only be used for the transient condition or a load shifting for that matter or it can only be used during the light light uh, you know night loads and light loads for that for that matter so the application of ess has to has to be kept in mind when you are using ess technologies as far as supplying electricity is concerned and so not supplying power is concerned so with these thoughts i would like to thank you eq and uh, uh, i would like to thank you uh, mr ravikanna and the forum in the house thank you so much and have a lovely day ahead